Is this perfume? What the? Welcome to Pure Octane Garage. We bring you detailed information and other automotive goodness when we can. When we can. That's coming <laughs> later. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, please like, subscribe, ring notification bell, share with your friends, check out the merch, link yeah. below. Yes, please do. We really appreciate it and thank you. Yes, appreciate you guys. All right, today we got this ugly box. Yeah, that is an ugly box. It's ugly, and I did not know what it was going to look like when I purchased this. And I got the box, and I was disappointed, I was... but maybe the product's good. That's what matters. We'll right. find out together. I mean, ultimately, you don't judge a book by its cover, right? And you don't judge a product by its box but sometimes i do <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> but i do <laughs> but um, what the heck is this yeah so hey we've talked about these the coating thickness gauge okay um for your vehicle's paint now this is the cheapy amazon kind of versions okay. because we're not raking in the big dough to buy the let me give you a range this is about 65 dollars okay um that's on the low end of the price for these things um they the good ones 500 i saw all the way up to 1800 bucks mm -hmm. we're not going to be buying that here we're not making that kind of money <laughs> right right <laughs> unless, well, unless everybody subscribes that yeah. watches <laughs> then, then we could um actually we don't make money off subscribers we just you know we yeah. ads yeah. you guys know um but anyways so, so i got well, this for us what, to I try mean, out this had good reviews on amazon very okay. good reviews this is probably more for the DIY guy. Um, we're gonna hope, hey, the thing could totally suck. I don't know, so, we haven't so tried a, it yet. So a coatings thickness gauge. We know what that is, but yeah, why but do why, we want why, that? Yeah, why? So we like to polish and compound on our paint when we fix scratches, uh, prepare it, you know, for mm -hmm. a coating. You can only do that so often. Yeah. But depending, you know, your car most likely you're gonna be fine. But if there's, if you have thin paint, you kind of want to know. Yeah, if that clear coat is getting, is, has been you don't want to go through that polished before yeah. or multiple times especially if you're buying a used vehicle and yeah you don't know, you don't know so happens. you want to measure before you start polishing on it because if that clear coat is thin too thin that determines the method of polishing you're going to do exactly and if you're not if you don't know and you burn right through it you're going to be doing a paint job and that's expensive that's very, very expensive. expensive so these that's where these tools kind of come into play is we can uh, yeah. take some measurements and see like I said, this thing could be complete junk. We don't know. Um, it had good reviews though. So let's uh, we'll find out. Let's open see it up what this thing see what looks we like. I, we have not used this yet. So does it need batteries? Did it, oh hey, I was just gonna batteries. say, does it need batteries? And they let's, they let's hope the directions the are good, directions are good too. But oh, oh wow, got, what have we all got here? Oh aluminum, ferrous. I have, and that's uh, like plexi. Yeah, some sort of acrylic or something. Yeah, doesn't say, but maybe that's in the manual. <laughs> Okay, so we got a little case here. Oh, wow. Of this so, Amazon. I liked the color. It's, it's fancier than I imagined. I did judge a little bit off the color. The green and black kind of oh, goes, so right? Here we go. But it had, like I said, it had good reviews for what we need it for. This is obviously a pro body shop or pro paint correction facility. It's not going to be using something like this. And hey, if you have experience, I've never used, actually, I've... I've never used a, a coating thickness gauge. Um, personally, I've been, and I've been yeah, lucky. I, 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 same new for me too. I've never burned through clear coat either. <laughs> Luckily. Hey, so, but, I, uh, I am gonna call out um, Energizer batteries. Wow, they're not some but, generic yeah, brand. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna load those up. Oh, yep. here, I'm gonna look here at this guide. So, you know, we've got kind of that basic instructions. You know what I mean? Here, you want to know more about what a thickness gauge does? Yes. Maybe we'll put it in their terms, see if it's better than ours. The thickness gauge is used to measure the thickness of the plated and coated sheet on metal. E.g. paint enamel, chrome on steel, paint and... and I'm not going to read this. Okay. That made no sense to me. <laughs> so, we want to measure <laughs> the thickness of the clear coat. Yep. It says this gauge is designed for non-destructively measuring the thickness of coating and painting. Still a weird sentence, but okay. We, that makes more <laughs> sense. It is essential for material surface treatment and widely used in manufacturing industry, metal processing industry, chemical industry, commodity inspection area, and also able to work steadily in the laboratory workshop. <laughs> this is terrible, guys. <laughs> I, I, I kind of expected this from the instructions. Um, but anyways, I kind of want to just know. I, I want to know what the buttons are for. Yeah. Hey, and if you guys have experience using 
a gauge, please let us know down in the comments. You're going to get to see two idiots use a gauge. We yeah. don't know what to do with it. And today. you can you can yell at us in yeah. the comments. Hey, you're doing that wrong. All okay. right, guys. So we didn't want to bore you with reading the directions. We told you this is new to us, right? We calibrated, right? Yeah. Just follow the instructions that come with it. Um, could be bad. Could be good. Depending yeah. on your... Ours it's, are not that uh, great. <laughs> not that great. <laughs> but we got through it. But... It makes sense, generally. At, at least this, these nice little bags that they put the uh, samples in are well labeled. Yes. <laughs> so what do, what do we have here? We have a non-ferrous, which is aluminum, right? Okay. And then a, sheet, a little piece of aluminum. And then we have our standard, standard ferrous, ferrous, which is our iron steel kind of stuff. Perfect. And, and then we've got these cool little pieces of you know acrylic um, to simulate the different thicknesses. And they're all oh. labeled, you know, 1.97 mils. You can get plus or minus 1%. Uh, 50. Now, this we're not sure on. It says UMs. I think the other measurement is microns. We've, we did a little research, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I'm assuming that's what that is. Hey, if you guys know, let us know. Again, told you, this is new, this is new to us. Yeah. This is a new area. We're not from a body shop world. Um, we do not run a paint correction company, <laughs> you know? So we know what to do, but this is new to us. I've never used one of these before or even seen one. So, um, but we're learning as we go, but we wanted to show you guys what it is. So kind of cool. Based on what would you find, Ryan, on the average so clear coat? Just, just real quick, um, uh, it says here the clear coat is a polyurethane paint without um, color pigmentation. Right. Thickness usually ranges between 1.5 to 2.0 mils. Okay. That's 35 to 50 microns. Okay. So that's kind of where we got that. This is labeled 1.97 mils, 50 UMs, which probably considering microns based on that might be wrong. Yeah. We might be wrong. But there's, that's hard to see. But anyways, look at that. So that's, that's thin. Yeah, here, let's see if I can reach. Um, yeah, it's very thin. I mean, so every time you're polishing uh, with the machine, you're, you know, you're machine polishing you're, or your company, you're removing a little bit of yeah, that. Yeah, you're removing a little bit. and So that's why it's important to know like how aggressive to be, you know, or what we're trying to fix on your vehicle. Yeah, and it, that's where it, it, all, it also play. helps you to determine what compound you're using, what, what pad, pad you're yeah. using, uh, the speed, yeah. uh, how long, the, the, the timing, how long exactly. you stay in an area. But again, yeah. it's, it's really, I think it's important to check with yeah, one of these. Because like you said, if you bought a brand new car, um, there's different variances there. But a used car, Especially, you don't know how many times it's been polished. Yeah. So you take this with you when you <laughs> go to the used car lot. <laughs> right. Excuse me. Like, what are you doing? I'm measuring the paint thickness. So yeah, if we if we put this little sample down on top of the uh, the that, the standard that. ferrous metal here, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go ahead real quick and turn it on. You give it a few seconds to it. It does a little countdown until it's oh. ready to go, uh, and I'm gonna just place it down. And you let and it, it beep. beeps. And right now we're on the the other setting, so yep. we're at 51, and it's UMs. Should, it should, it, it, it should be 50. 50. So we're close. So, yeah. Here, let me change the mode here. Yeah, there it, there's some vari variance in the readings you're going to get with yeah, this, you, you know. Yeah, you can set it between um, UMs. Um, <laughs> um's? You can set it between <laughs> UMs and mils. Ums or mils. We'll use mils today. Let's use mils yeah. on everything we do. Uh, I set it to mils, and then you can do a singular, a single measurement, or a continuous me you move around. Measure, yeah. measurement. Measuring. Uh, measurement. Measure. <laughs> tip of that's very easy. It is a little metal tip, you know. Yeah, here, I'll try to show you. Hopefully. And then you push down. Now, obviously, on a vertical surface, you're going to have to push it. The weight of the um, device isn't going to help you there. We kind of played around with this a little bit. Let's get over to a vehicle and test just a couple spots on the vehicle and just see what, see what we get. Yeah, we'll, we'll we show you. We don't know what to expect because we don't know yeah. what's actually, but we can see if it's thinner in what different I, areas. What I am expecting is variances depending on where we are yes where we are vehicle. in the vehicle so we'll test door jams maybe yeah that's a good idea a panel and maybe we'll go under the hood where there's no clear coat yeah at all so let's try that let's go do it all right so we're over here at the vehicle we're going to go ahead and take a couple measurements uh, around the vehicle we'll talk about it when we do it we're going to use the mills we're going to use the single um single reading right not continuous we're not going to move around on it um so here we go let you come in there, Ryan. We'll do this area of the hood right here. Okay. Okay, so we're getting 6.67 wow. mils. Hey, that's pretty decent. That's not the base coat and clear coat. Yes. But, uh, okay. Let's move over here a little bit. See if it's different. Oh, interesting. See? So you dropped a little bit, 5.85. Huh? Not a lot. So it's going to be different. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay. 5.93. Okay. Let's, let's, what, what about this, edge? this slant? Let's do that. Is that, that's a bit tricky. Here. You, you just, yeah. Oh, no, we're 6.8. Okay. Let's do it up here over the edge. 6.25. So pretty consistent. That, so that's a good thing. Want to really get a different reading? Let's do where there's no clear at all. We gotta go upside yeah, down. Yeah, so we just have base <laughs> color here. Oh, there we go. 2.38. I guess, yeah. That's kind of true. You, you gotta flip your, <laughs> your eyes around to yeah. see that. But yeah, 2.38. Oh, well, here, guys. There's a little dirt here, but there you go. All right, so last place. Let's, we're gonna do the fender. That's uh, front quarter here. Let's, uh, also known as a wing, right? No, it's a fender. <laughs> 5.9. So still fairly consistent, but a little bit different. And then last but not least. All right, tell me when you can see. Yep, we're good. Let me see here. I can't read it. You're gonna we're reading 2.99. Okay. So. Interesting. Because that does have clear on it, as you can see, but it's quite a bit yeah, thinner than the hood. And we got 3.5 right there. Yeah, a little extra clear there. Yep. And then last but not least, let's try maybe here. Oh, look at Can you. Can you read that? Yep. And we've got 5.34 there. So and That looks like it has decent clear on it, to be honest with you. All so right, you so, so there's a few spots. Hey, do we, you know what, while we're here, let's just move to a different car. Manufacturers have different clear coats, right? Yeah, ah. look at that, 4.34 versus what? It's average about six, six. six on there. So let's move over here. Oh, oh, there's the film there. We won't go there. Wow. 4.7. Actually, go. You do You do Don't have do a clear film? protected film right here. I don't. You probably can't see that on camera. So let's camera. see what we get. But I'm just curious. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Hey, the thing's working. <laughs> yes, it is. But yeah, as you can see, that's a, there's so, the line. So if you want to wrap your car in the, the you know, vinyl or the, Whatever. PPF. That's the word. Pay protection film. All right. Let's try the hood. All right, the roof. This is not the hood. Oh, <laughs> well, we got... It's better up there. Yeah, 6.88. Interesting. All right. Okay, so we had fun measuring over there. It's, hey, like we said, brand new to us, so it's kind of cool to, like, yeah. try it out, check the different spots. Obviously, we saw that it varies in different spots on the vehicle, right? Yeah, interesting, right? Yeah, which make, we said makes sense based on how something's painted and paint's laid down. And we understand that this particular coating thickness gauge, <laughs> we understand that this is not as accurate as a, would you, would right, you say the price dollar, range? I'm, I don't remember the brands, but... $1,500? Yeah, they're very expensive, and uh, I'm sure they're very, very accurate. But uh, for <laughs> what we need, this will work, as long as that um, you know, holds up. <laughs> it's yeah. working. Cause think about it, you know, you do, you do some measuring over, you know, over an area that you're going to be polishing. And if you know that, oh gosh, along that area over there, it's thinner. I'm going to either not hit that. Pull the pressure back a little bit yeah. or slow the speed down, whatever you need to do. Not going to yeah. hit that as long. Um, Definitely. Yeah. That way you, you know, and you have less chances of burning through that clear. Yeah. Cause that, that's always been on my mind uh, getting into mm -hmm. this polishing thing is like, how much can you polish something until you can't polish it anymore that's you really gotta think about that and there so. and there is a, a point where yeah you literally won't be able to polish that anymore all right so there you go this is the amazon v I, and i don't even remember the brand name because they're not they don't put it on their box yeah um but it was based on ratings is why i picked it and the price you so. know what we'll do we'll, we'll put the link down that's below in the description so you guys can check this one out because yeah. you said you did some research and this one had that good reviews overall, you know, for the decent most part. reviews. Yeah. So let us DVD know what you guys use for the price. Yeah, I remember this is you know less than seventy bucks. So, so so that that's a, a good product. That's a good tool to have in your detailing toolbox. Yeah. Good product. Bad bad directions. Yeah. Directions. <laughs> box <laughs> packaging. Terrible. But hey, but, this is cool too that they give you the you know stuff you can uh, calibrate with and all the different thicknesses and kind yeah, of, kind of taught us as we went. I felt you know what yeah. I mean. Really? So, hey, good, go. good idea. This was Brandon's idea to finally get us one of these. I was like, let's try one without spending a thousand bucks. That's right. Next up, gloss meter. Gloss meter Stay coming tuned. up. Yep. That'd be fun too. It would be. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Um, let us know your experiences with any of these uh, um, coating thickness gauges if you have uh, used them or you have a favorite. Um, we'd love to hear it. Yeah.
All right. So until the next video, please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. That's it. Yeah. so bad There's nothing to see man what is this a perfume box that's what it looks like <laughs> it does look like pink and purple really <laughs>